Well, hey there, Sailor. Today I wanted to talk to you about Mac's new summer collection called Hey Sailor. Um, the promo picture looks like this. This is my update book. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, yeah. So it's all nautical and like retro pin -y inspired goodness. Um, the packaging looks like this. It has stripes on it. Like it all, it all has stripes on it. I'll start with this because it actually has the packaging on it. So it's super cute. You know, the navy and white stripes. My nails kind of match. This is um, a new Prolonger bronzer. There's two shades, Nude on Board and Sun Dipped. Nude on Board is a little bit more golden, and this is Sun Dipped. It's a little bit more browny red tone. Um, but yeah, it's a little compact. Super cute. And you know, it says Sun Dipped Prolonger bronzing powder. But yeah, these are supposed to be like a sheer bronzing powder, but they last eight hours. Um, that's the claim. Um, and I found that I've worked a full work shift and I'll get home at night and my bronzer is still pretty darn strong. I'm not a big bronzer person, but these are sheer and super buildable. Here's the color Sun Dipped. I know bronzers aren't too exciting, but I've actually really fallen in love with this because I'm not a big bronzer person. So there is the color Sun Dipped. And I'm going to show you it later how it looks on. Um, but it's just like a, I have like a little swatch there. It's just kind of like a brownie tan shade. There's body oils. I have this one in um, Man Rays. It's called To The Beach Body Oil. And these came out a couple years ago for the To The Beach collection, but now they have, um, they have a lighter shade that they added out, and this is the one from before. It's called Man Rays. And, yeah, it's basically like a, it's a body oil. It has, it really doesn't add a lot of color. It basically just adds a little bit of a gold shimmer. I'll show you. Um, I haven't actually even used this yet, so... You can see it kind of running down the arm. And it is really cool. It's like hydrating and whatnot. Um, so it is nice for that. But it's really, like, can you even see it just adds like a sheen? Like, yeah. I don't know. It's really subtle. If you have like really awesome tan skin already, this would probably be um, a nice thing just to add like a glow. But if you're looking to add color, like wear it as a body bronzer, this isn't going to do that. Um, but it's cool for an effect. Next, we um, there's some eyeshadows. There is Crystal Avalanche. This is basically just a frosty white. Um, it's from the permanent range. There's a couple gold shades. I don't have those, but they're pretty dupable. Um, but they're really pretty. This one I do have is Nautical Navy. Nautical Navy. Yeah. And it is um, a satin. It's basically, isn't that gorgeous? It's basically just a really dark navy color. Really um, gorgeous color, and I'll show you that a little bit later. But yeah, it's like the perfect true navy. Um, really lovely as a liner, just to darken things a little bit. That's perfection. Then there's like a green. The closest I could get was by doing like a lime liner and like a matte green on top of it. But it kind of gets close to that color. Um, if you don't have like a fresh kind of green, it's called Feeling Fresh. Um, that one is pretty fun. Pigments, these are both permanent. This is old gold. I just have samples. Old gold and navel blue. Navel blue is just like a frosty dark blue. Old gold is a gold with like a green duochrome. Really gorgeous. Here's these two. They're really pretty if you don't already have them. Maybe pick them up. Super cute. So there's those. There's a couple nail polishes. One's red and one's white. I have the white from before. This is with the Liberty of London packaging, but you know, the new version has stripes on it. It's called Vestra White. It's basically a white cream. I am wearing it now. I just kind of um, did piece of tape and layered blue and white until I got that. Lips. Uh, I only have one of the lipsticks. There's four. There's a red. It's basically a red. Um, there's like a pale peachy nude. I have NARS Heat Wave, which looks exactly like Sail La Vie, which is like um, an orangey red from the collection. Really gorgeous for summer. So there's that. Then the one I actually have is called To Catch a Sailor. It's like a frosty tan color. It's a frost. And it's pretty. If you already have a lot of color to your skin, or you have a nice tan, this works by itself. If you're a little bit lighter, it kind of looks a little bit creepy, so I like to layer a gloss on top of it. Um, but it's fun to layer. This is Blessedly Rich Lip Gloss, and it's, um, this interesting kind of corally bronzy color. I don't know. It's really cool. I haven't seen anything like this. So there's that. Really cool. There's that. And finally, I have um, the little highlighting powder in Crew. And it looks like this. My glass thing popped out, so it's actually supposed to be 
the other way, but whatever. Um, you get the idea. So here's the powder. Super cute. This is um, basically almost like a really light blush. It's called a highlighting powder, but it really doesn't highlight at all. It's basically just like a color powder. You can use these as eyeshadows, um, as blush colors, but you know, the white part is actually an overspray, so when you dig through the product, it's actually just like a patch of orange, a patch of pink, and a patch of purple. So as you use it, it's basically going to end up being like a soft pink blush. And I'll show you that later. But here's the purple, the orange, and the pink. They're really soft. This probably on deeper skin tones would just be like a little bit of like an ashy pink. Um, on lighter skin tones, it's like a really soft pink blush. So nothing too special. But if you're a sucker for special looking powders like I am, then maybe you should pick one up. If you definitely picked up anything from the collection, let me know. And we can, you know, chat about this cool stuff and really fun ways to use it. But other than that, let me know if you have any questions. And... Alright, let's put these products into action and do a little tutorial. Sound good? So I'm going to start with the Daub Cream Pigment by Ella Mouska. This is basically just like a minty green base, just to get a green base. Any kind of green base will do. And I'm just taking a flat um, synthetic brush. I'm um, just picking up a little bit like that, and we're just going to blend this um, all around the eye area. Not being too neat, just getting some of the color there. Taking a little bit underneath as well. Just kind of blend that out. This is just to set the stage a little bit. Add a little bit of a green, green tone as a base. Just like that, just really softly blended all the way around just to get um, a little bit of a green undertone to the eyes. Next, I'm going to take um, Jealousy Wakes. This is from the Little Blogger's Obsession collection. This is a shade that Tim Talia uh, made. It, I was kind of going for the green from the collection, which is more of the shade, like a grassy green, but I can't get that without mixing. So if you have that, I would use that, but I am going to use this one. Makes a little bit more minty green, so just picking that up on a fluffy brush. And I'm going to place this in the inner inner um, inner arch right through here, just kind of pressing and just kind of buffing it in. Just to get this color right in here. Kind of like that. And since we did that green base, it's really just going to amplify that and make it so much easier. Just wedging it all the way in there. Almost like a reverse smoky eye. Our darker color is going right in here instead of out here. Just like that. And then I'm going to take the same color just on the outer half a little bit. Kind of where I just said. And just placing the color first. And then we're just going to take the brush without a lot of product on it. And then just blend it up. Just leaving the space in the middle open. And bring it all the way up. We're not really going to add too much of a highlight at all because we're just taking advantage of the space here and pulling it under a little bit. But just so that we have this green on the inner half and then the outer half. Just slowly building and pulling up color until we have the desired intensity. Really kind of simple once you get the hang of it. So there's that. Then I'm going to go in with Nautical Navy and a tiny pencil brush. The 219. It's picking up a little bit on there. This shade is so pigmented you really don't need a lot. I'll even dab off the excess on my hand. And I'm just going to kind of wedge this in and almost like a, you know, kind of like an outer V shape. Just to kind of intensify that out here. And then I'm going to pull it underneath the eye, almost like a liner on the outer half. And just kind of wedging it in there so it blends in with the green and just intensifies it. The two are almost going to kind of mix. Kind of like that. And then I'm going to take the same color right in the inner, inner kind of 
V-shape too, just right through there where we placed that green, but a little bit stronger and more focused, not as blended this time. So just a little V-shape, just kind of framing the eye, just like that. A lot of this color placement is actually inspired by Petra Lude. He did a recent tutorial, and I thought, I want to do that with Hayes Sailor, so, so why not? And again, just kind of wedging it in there. Just patting and blending until it is really smooth. Nothing like a block of color, but it's pretty strong. And then I'll take that navy color on the inner corner again, just right in here. So now we've pretty much just left the space in the center of the lid and underneath. And now I'm going to go in with um, a blue eyeliner. This is Float On by I. Cole from the To The Beach collection. Whoops, wrong, wrong summer collection. And just place this on the waterline. And then I'm going to go in with Old Gold Pigment. Again, I just have it in a little sample form. And this is where we're going to place this exactly where we don't have any color. So I'm just going with the 239, just a flat shader brush. Just picking up a little bit of this color kind of working it into the brush and just patting this right in the center. Kind of like that. And then again, just taking a little bit underneath, using just the tip of the brush just to get it in that space right in the middle. I'm just going to go in with my blending brush and just blend a little bit. Just kind of blending everything. Just like that. And you know, nothing's perfect because I have a tiny little mirror, but um, you get the idea. So it kind of gives that cool effect. And I'm just going to finish it with a little bit of Zoom Lash Mascara. Hey, voila, we have some Hey Sailor eyes. Do I look like a sexy sailor? Now I'm going to go into cheeks. I'm going to take that same prolonged wear bronzing powder that I've been using as a mirror. I'm going to take the 138. Um, it's like a tapered face brush. Just kind of rolling, rolling the brush into there. Coat it like that. And I'm just going to um, pop this onto the cheekbone. These are just super sheer and buildable. It's impossible to overdo. And this brush just blends it into perfection. Taking it up a little bit into the temples just perfect. Just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed with this stuff. So pretty. If you're pale and you've been scared of bronzer, don't be scared of it anymore. Just like that. A little bit down the center. And then I'm just going to take, this is kind of dirty because I'm using the same eyeshadow brush, but just taking a little bit of that bronzer and just kind of contouring the nose a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Because I just love this stuff. Just a little bit like that. I'm just going to take a little bit of that Crew highlighting powder. Just kind of swirling the colors together. Just kind of, you know, again, just working the brush into the powder. This is just going to add a little bit of pink on the apples of the cheek. Just a tiny bit. Kind of blend it right in with that bronzer so they kind of mix to create like this really like pinky bronzy shade. So gorgeous. Just a little bit like that. Et voila. And now we're just going to finish this puppy with a lip. Super simple. I'm going to take To Catch a Sailor and it's that frosty tan color. I'm just going to do a little bit of this in the center of the lip since it's a frost. Just kind of patting it in. And also doing it on the Cupid's bow to act as like a highlight. Highlight. Just like that, the tiniest bit just makes it look fuller. Um, and then we're just gonna go in with Blessedly Rich Lip Glass. But yeah, there you go. There's your Hey Sailor look. I hope you liked it. Hope you're having an awesome summer and some, having some fun nautical times. But uh, yeah, that is all for now, guys. Bye.